Okay, just checking my camera. Things have been acting very suspicious here lately. Anyways, you folks might know me as C. Patrick Slade, or affectionately known as The Professor. That's right. Is C. Patrick Slade my real name? No, it's more of a pseudonym. And what does the C stand for? I'll leave that up to you. It's sort of like Harry S. Truman, right? The last president uh, who did not attend college and got us quickly and efficiently out of World War II. The S in Harry S. Truman stood for nothing. So, little ode to Harry S. right there. Yes, I'm your host, C. Patrick Slade. Um, see me about your problems, right? See me about anything you want. But anyways, I thought I'd invite you into my home right now, and I'm going to be making dinner. So um, you can partake, you know, pull up a chair, pull up the floor and take your feet off, as it were. I'm going to get started. So just bear with me. But I wanted to say a little something here that um, I have been doing in recent times. Sometimes I look disheveled. Other times I look kind of decently kempt. Kept? No, kempt. To wit? To what? To wit? Never mind. So, anyways, I'm doing fine. And I hope you guys are as well. Of course, it's very, very hot here, and I'm sure it's probably pretty uh, warm where you are. Medium high, exactly. Two minutes, get that sucker hot. Do the spit test. You know, if you just go like that. All right, I'll really give your COVID-19 friends a, a little scare. But anyways, this is what I want to broach on real quick. In the last month or two, um, I've been hanging with some really assorted characters due to the fact that my drug usage has gone through the roof. True story. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, hanging out with some really interesting people, and if I mention names, the names have been t changed to protect the indigent. Exactly, exactly. Because most people who get into these Bowery levels of consumption or copious amounts of uh, narcotics, you know, aren't in the high rent districts. Only their dealers are or the, the co-founders of the madness. But anyways, due to the shortage right now of some certain kinds of uh, substances because of our borders shutting down, man, it's hard to get a good deal on the street. And I'm sure some of you people can feel me. You know, it's like, I admit it, I have a drug problem. Yeah, ever since my main dealer went to prison, it's been really tough to get good deals. But no, yeah. So what I've been doing is kind of, you know, a test of sorts to really see what the hell is going on. And I've been doing short of just bathing and brushing my teeth. And oh, by the way, this is what we're going to have for dinner tonight, right? With Jasmine and Rice. Why do I feel like I've met somebody with that name? I don't know. But anyways, I've been doing very, very little to, of course, as you know, buy into the manias of this fear of you know, Corona and COVID-19 and do 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 My Corona, six feet social distancing, do do is for me, is for me. I must have six feet of distancing. I don't know, I'm going to work on a song. Anyways, it's coming, sort of like that taco in the morning after an all-night bender. But um, true stories, just doing a lot of drugs, you know, not wearing any masks, washing my hands when need be, bathing about twice a week, doing the whole thing. And I really wanted to see you know, what? <coughs> oh my God, it's in, the <coughs> it's in the food. Oh, right. So this should be fun. It's sizzling boys and girls. Okay, so now. First you, ask, first you want to taste the bird. I'm Julia Child. Okay, so I was just doing everything because I'm thinking, you know, we always hit the poor, the downtrodden, the homeless, the drug addicts, the alcoholics. I've been hanging with them almost exclusively in my free time. And you know what? I'm doing fine. Not one of them's coming down with fever or hospitalized or, you know, dead on the side of the street with their blue tongue hanging out. No. So I'm thinking, you know what? Let's really put it to the test. Let's just see how bad it is. Let's just hang with the dredges of society. Janet, alcoholic, and John Q, drug user. Let's just participate, man, minus the alcohol, of course. But let's just get out there and let's just let our proverbial freak flag fly. Say that three times fast. What was it again? Never mind, it's not important. But anyways, cover and cook for four minutes. Ooh! So 
we got to cover that. Set your timer. Don't guesstimate, boys and girls. You want it to come out right. Mm-hmm. Now, well, like I said, I've just been doing a lot of drugs and hanging out with some really sketch people. But don't worry. You know, I have a good bondsman, good attorney on speed dial. But no, no problems. Everything's going fine. Gotcha. Skeeters. You gotta get them before they get you. <laughs> so, yeah. And, and you know what? I'm doing fine. Now, of course, you know, there's an alpha and an omega. There's a beginning and an end. And, you know, the love affair is kind of wearing itself off. Yeah, you know, because, you know, in this supply and demand time for certain kinds of illicit narcotics, you know, you're not really getting point for point. You know, you're not really getting all the, your, your, your uh, money's worth and or your bang for your buck. And, um, doesn't say to stir it. Okay, uncovering, stirring it came in five six minutes and four minutes over. Right. Ooh, do the rice. So, you know, as scatterbrained as I may seem right now, and I am, trust me, this isn't an act, um, but I am sober for the time being. Um, two and a half minutes of time on Right. And, um, see, look, I wasn't kidding. Jasmine Rice. I swear I knew somebody with that name. Or I met somebody with that name. I don't know. But true story, true story. Um, again, folks, I think it's all a hoax. I think it's a bunch of nonsense. You know, I'm not saying like, like Christianity or, or drug usage or COVID or all the other fun little things and nuances of our earthly existence and things to occupy our craniums. I really think just live your fucking life, okay? If we're gonna die, we're gonna die. If I'm gonna be part of the statistics, well then, you know, as I breathe my last, you can look at me and go, pull this out. And I'm still gonna say in my final words, good luck. <clears throat> what did he mean by that? We know exactly what he meant by that. So I'm not gonna worry about it, kids. You know, no, no, and don't worry. I'm not gonna let my drug addiction get the best of me now. But sometimes, you know, when there's just no sports or you've seen everything on Netflix and they'll, well, the libraries have abbreviated hours because, you know, you like to do something stupid like turning pages and reading, you know. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, 237 matchbook sticks on the floor. Yeah, yeah, 236. But uh, stay strong, kids. And dinner's going to be great. Uh, I might even include some, you know, pictures when I'm done. You know, make sure, you know, you get parents' permission to view them and or if you're over the age of 21. Right, because they can be, my dinner can be pretty explicit. But anyways, no, all seriousness aside, uh, I love you guys. Be well. And remember this shit? <sighs> this shirt's older than some of you people out there. Who cares? Love you.